What's up guys, Chris here back at Rusty Ratchet and today is the day I break ground on the 81Z28. So what I'm gonna do today is uh, take the whole front clip off. Taking the clip off, uh, I gotta take the dash out, take the rear wing off, all that rear bumper, all that crap, because I am sending it out to get the floorboard done, the full floor. I'm not doing it, I'm not gonna try and do it. Need a couple people, it's only me. My wife helps here and there. So I'm gonna get to it and follow along. All right guys, so I have a stu stubborn bolt that's right in there. So I actually had to get my little strip tool kit out, hammer that on there, and finally I broke it loose. So let me get that off and I think then I can get this fender off. Let's find out. Well, there it is. Got it, now I gotta get it out of there so I can put it away. But I'm sure I'm going to be using that quite often on this build. Or at least the teardown, I should say. Hopefully not on the build. But, alright, let me uh, see if I can get this fender off. Well, guys, after a busted knuckle on the last bolt, I think this is ready to come off. And the last bolt broke. So, I had two problems. The last bolt was broke, and the one up here that stripped. Both of them were like in the impossible places. Could be an easy one where it's on top or something like that, but no, not my luck. So let's see if we can rip this fender off. The only thing good on this fender is this uh, vent. So I don't really care what happens as long as I don't damage that. Okay. Was ready to come off. Come off, ready. Now I gotta find my dikes for the antenna. Little wire snippers. All right. So that's done. Ah. Mud flaps. Who needs mud flaps? So, this fender seen better days. Oh, I'm gonna put this out back. So now I gotta monkey dick with this little section here, which has seen better days too. Um, yeah, it's all rotted out in here. I'll show you. Put the battery tray out. All right. So that's what we have here. So this was solid and nice up to here. So you take the battery tray out and it looks like that. So this is scrap metal. Disconnect that hose and all that crap. Just turn my battery off. So, all right, so let me get to uh, ripping this out, cutting this out, whatever, how I'm gonna get it out. But we're moving along, moving along. Stay tuned. All right, guys, so I just got my cutoff wheel and just cut that out because I'm going to get all new shit. So that's what I'm going to do. Now we're ready to take that out. Now we'll take the wheel wheel out. And that is correct. So it's getting there little by little. So I'm going to go... I'm going to go and start working on that fender now. I'm going to get that stripped down. Hopefully no broken bolts. Hopefully. It is now time to get this fender off this vehicle and throw it on my trailer so I can eventually take these uh, vents out like I said on the other side. But this is going to be a little bit more fun. It's all crunched up right here. So let's see what we can do. Up if I open up the door. Look at it. It's gone. 
even up here is all crunched up. Very nice. Well, so, best thing to do is throw it out. I believe. What the hell is this? What do they have? Undercar lights? Whatever it is, it's DOT approved. It was. But I'm going to try to uh, sand this down and keep it. I'm not going to spend too much time sanding it, but it looks pretty straight. It's pretty good. It's original. So this is going to be a keeper. So I'm going to put it in a scrap pile for now. Not scrap pile, but trailer. All right, guys. So this is what I got done. Got all that taken out. You know, of course, rat supports trash. Bumper cover is trash. So... I gotta clean all that up. Radiator, eh, I'm probably gonna go with aluminum because it's gonna have an LS in it. LS in it. There's a Turbo 400. Apparently, the guy drag raced this car. Why he drag raced it with T tops is beyond me. I would never do that. Well, I did that, but I wouldn't make it for drag racing. So. All right, guys, so I don't have a standard line wrench. I got metric. I, that's all I work on is metric. So I'm going to try a 13 millimeter. Hopefully, I don't break my knuckles. Ow. I just grated my skin, that's all. But it works. Missing a layer of skin, that's all. Let's try this again. Crop dusters. Nope, gotta keep on moving. There we go. And we'll let it spill out on the radiator support. What the fuck? We are going to put this stuff with the other stuff. This is actually in really good shape. I was going to sand it down, scuff it up, and paint it black. Now, I think I just got to undo that support, the radiator support on both sides. Hey, look what we have here. We got a bent 516th wrench. Nope. It was junk. It's nothing I can use. But I'm thinking that's all I have to do. So let me get some 5 8 maybe? No, 11 16th. See if this stuff works. That looks like it's going to be a lot of fun. Yep. So we'll save the foam one for last. The uh, rebuilt their motor in here with uh, orange spray paint. That probably looked real nice when they were done. Yeah. So I'm thinking after I get the floorboard put in, uh, I'm going to take the subframe out, front subframe. I'm going to strip it down, and I'm actually going to take it to a powder coater because I don't have the time for it. It's probably going to cost me probably five or six hundred dollars for them to blast it and powder coat it. But it'll look nice when it's uh, done. 
then I'll start getting all new suspension parts and bushings and pop that crap right back up in there. But when I was underneath there, they got the traction bars on there, and then it looked like they welded square tubing for frame support. Probably guess when he was drag racing his car. So, yeah. I wouldn't be drag racing this anytime soon. I'm just going to build a cruiser. That's all I want is a nice little cruiser. So, but I got to find me some bolts so I can get back to work. It's actually sockets. That's too big. And it is three quarters. We have a winner, three quarter inch. Mushy. That is a mushy, mushy one. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And I saved the best for last. <laughs> All right. So that's a three quarter. Let me bring it a step down because we did lose some metal off of that from age. Five eighths is a. I could probably beat it on with the hammer. All right, let's see what happens. Probably just spin. I have no idea what just happened there. It's like it went through. All right. So, so, what is being held up here? Ah, I see. We got some brackets down here that has to come off. They have to come off. So, I'm pretty sure that it's going to spin on the inside. <laughs> and I was wrong. As usual. As usual, I was wrong. Don't do that at home.
All right, I gotta do the next side. But I've really never seen anything like this before. Huh. Well, I'll just have to get new ones. I don't know. Probably did it all wrong, didn't I? Well, oh well. I'll fix it. Yep. Fuck. What a jacked up way to do things. Fucker's heavy. Holy shit, is that heavy? <laughs> yeah, I think I might have did this the wrong way. These are probably laughing at me, but oh well. And it's off. I gotta get the wires. Come on. Get that, get the ground. Ah. House wire horn. All right, now I'm back to shit. Fucking long size. Jesus Christ. Get your fucking metric one there. Fucking 10 millimeter. Well, well, guys, when you, uh, I guess when you're on a budget, you just use uh, self tapping screws. That's what was holding them in. That's how he has those in there. Yeah, pretty, pretty interesting. Compared to the factory ones. We'll just use self tapping. They work. No one's going to sell them. So now I got to pull the wires out and drag this over that way. Yep. Getting there, guys. It's getting there. Oh, boy. Well, guys, it's that time again to start working on the Camaro. Um, so today I am going to take off the rear bumper, taillights, and spoiler. And side spoilers on the front of the wheels and then i'm gonna try to get them traction bars off it's dirty under there so and and the gas tank and fuel lines and brake lines and the uh frame extenders i got a lot to do in two days because this is leaving today is saturday and it's got to be on my trailer on sunday night so when i go to work on monday i can drop it off or actually tuesday shit yeah tuesday so, but it's that time. Let's get to work. But first, I gotta hydrate. It's that time. Got my helper today. Miley, what are you doing? She is 13 years old. Yeah, you're 13, aren't you? So if you don't have a Porsche, they're actually, these wings are actually good for placing beverages on there and parts and stuff like that. So this is a pretty good workbench also.
Holy crap, this is heavy. Well, you can hear all the rust in it, too. Yeah, sounds good. All right. Now we work on these headlights, or headlights, yeah. We're going backwards. We're gonna take off the taillights. They're actually pretty easy. They got these, like, these wing nuts. I think there's four. Yeah, four of them. Maybe five. I can't see it. Yeah, there's five of them. Or six, not five, six. All right. All right. Now I'll stick these wing nuts back on so I don't lose them. So if I'm going to recondition these, I will do a video on it, on the Porsche 944 that I have. I actually uh, redid those taillights and they actually came out great. The only thing that worries me is this, the black piece here uh, next to the gas lid. I don't know about that. Then I don't know if this piece here, I'm sure this piece here has got to be available to seal. That's, the seal for this has to be available. Someone's got to make it. So if that's the case, I'm definitely going to redo this. And then I'll figure out how to clean this up and save that. So, but uh, I have to mark right and left. But, yep, and that'll be a future video. But, anytime I get back to this. Alright guys, so on this one here... The screw came out, so it's a little loose. Then I might have to put a little epoxy in there or JD weld so it's set. So, but that's ready to come off. And I'm gonna gently screw that back in there. All right, that's back in there. All right, so now you get the other bolt and put that one there, wherever that is, there we go. So we're going to we're gonna get this one off, this is just loose, so I got all the bolts off on that one, got all the crud on here. So we're going to do the bolts, there we go. Put the bolts on there because I do not want to lose them. Alright guys, so now we're going to tackle the bumper cover. Except the uh, spoilers are completely off. There is rust. I'm going to show you the rust. I'm going to vacuum everything up. Uh, a lot of dirt and stuff like that. Uh, there's little side trim pieces. There's two, I believe they're 3 8 bolts on the inside. Flathead screw on the bottom. This doesn't feel like it has one. Nope, because it's flappy. Floppy, flappy. Uh, then we're going to take the bumper off. I got the two bolts here on the inside of the trunk. Put two on each side. I'm going to knock them out. Then we're going to take the bumper off, like I said. Then we're going to vacuum it up, and I'm going to show you before and after. So it needs a little bit more work than I thought it did. And that needs more money out of my pocket. Nice. Wonderful. What I do with my electric ratchet. That's all right. Probably wouldn't work anyway. No room. All right, guys, so I got the trim piece off here somehow. All right, so that's disconnected. I'm leaving that attached to there. So basically, the only thing I got left is that bolt there and then that one there. And I see some rust I don't like. There's rust building up in here I don't like. Put them bolts back in there. Let's pull this one off. And that one actually still has a screw in it. Sorry, guys. 
that one actually still has a screw in it. I got to get out or it might just rip out. I don't know. So let me just work on that a little bit. So let me uh, knock that Phillips screw out. Then I'm going to show you the inside. And I still got the two bottom bolts on a bumper. Then that sucker should be able to come out. I uh, probably got to disconnect the uh, lights right here too. Probably got to disconnect the lights right here too. So I'll unplug that, get that done. All right, guys, so I actually got that one off. It would not unscrew. I don't know if you can see that. Focus, focus, focus. There we go. Look at that. It just pulled right out. So hopefully I can save these. So let me show you in the trunk here, the before it and aftermath. So look at all the rust there. And up in there, don't look promising at all nope so i think that whole section has got to get replaced and probably the blue one and here is like a crater it's all rotted through so it needs a trunk pan too yep definitely needs a trunk pan so there's more money i don't want to spend a ton of money but like i said before i got to make it right so my goal now is just to get the floor pan, the trunk plan, plan. So my goal now is to get the uh, floor pan put in, the trunk pan, and these two back panels, the upper and the lower piece, and get the quarters fixed. So I'm probably gonna be looking at close to 10 grand. And it's actually a real nice shop that does it. So then I'll take a break for a little bit, work on my other cars, and I'll come back to this one. But all right, let me uh, finish stripping this sucker down. guys so bumpers almost off I have this bolt and I got one it's a couple of threads on on the other side so actually I should cut these fucking wires there I cut them for that little blue gauge shit right there okay that that bolts out I got one more, but I'm going to lower it down, and uh, I'm going to take that off. Like I said, this is a good tray. Found my uh, electric ratchet. Yep. It was right on the uh, lift. Hey guys, so the rear bumper is actually ready to come off now. I took, I had to put one bolt on, on the top just to hold up there. I got it off there now. Um, I believe I got all the wires disconnected. I got that goofy ass shit there. Um, the more I take off of this car, the uglier it gets, uglier than this. Yeah, so. I might have to start doing stuff myself on here like I did on all my other cars. But I am definitely sending out the uh, car to get the front floorboard done. So that takes about two or three people to do. I want it done right. I don't want no issues with it so ever. Um, but I can manage the trunk pane. I can manage these rear panels and quarter panels and stuff like that. I, I can do that all day long. Um, but let me, uh, lift the, yep, let, let me remove this. And I'm going to show you some more ugly. That's what I'm going to do. Take it in with all your glory. All right, so I promise you ugly. Yes, and it's not me this time. So, look at this shit. It just gets uglier and uglier. So, I'm going to have to replace this whole section here. All there. I, I I have no idea what on earth happened there. I cannot figure that out because there's nothing, see, nothing on the inside. So, uh, yeah, if you guys could figure that out, let me know, because I'm baffled. I mean, it's supposed to look like that, it's supposed to, but it doesn't. 
So I need this whole outer pan and the whole inner. Cause now I'm gonna show you from underneath on how ugly it is. Oh yeah, that's trashed. God damn it. Now oh, that doesn't look too bad, but that's screwed. All right. So like I said, you got some more ugly. I don't like how that frame rail looks. God damn it. I really don't like how that frame rail looks. So once I take the shackle off, I'll be able to see better. And once I get into it more, so gas tank there looks a little rotted. I think. So that here looks like shit. That inner piece there looks like shit. They did a lot of burnouts. So tire marks. It's not a posse. So there's none up there. So it's a one legger. But I'm gonna go eat dinner, guys, and I'll be back in time to take the gas tank out. Now I'm taking out the gas tank after I eat my dinner. And this is probably gonna fall. I don't know. Hopefully I ain't got no issues. If not, you'll see it. You'll laugh. We'll have fun, we'll joke about it. I'm gonna get a new gas tank anyway. Um, and fucking gas lights would help. Disconnect them, I think. That, that would be a good idea. So, two rubber hoses are here. I'm going to cut them and go get a razor blade. Alright, so those dry rotted hoses are now cut with the handy dandy razor blade. So now I'm going to take the two inner bolts out, drop these two down, and hopefully, if comes out nice and slow, not falling. I don't know if there's any gas in it or not. I don't know. We'll find out. I'm not gonna take them all the way out. I'm just gonna turn them in a little bit. Just to keep them loose so they have some movement. And if I need to take them out, I will. I'll do the same thing here. And it's kind of funny, these two back bolts, now I don't know if they're factory, I kind of highly doubt it. They're 10 millimeter. Yep, so I don't think these are original. I was clean. There's gas in it. 
quite a bit of gas there. Butter whips. Uh, this is gonna be a shit show, guys. Yep. I think the filler neck is actually balancing it for me too. Got it. Balancing act is over. And we sprung a leak. Oh no, never mind. No leak. It's just coming from the hose. Well, that was easy. crazy about these uh, rear frame rails, they just look rotted, they do, I mean, God, sometimes you gotta say, what was I thinking, or, um, was I thinking when I did that? I don't know. It needs the inner and outer piece. Definitely. Fuck. Just get the money. Just keep throwing it out. But. I could buy another one, go through the same problem. I'm not gonna know what's gonna happen. Could be worse, could look great on the outside. You get underneath of it and start moving shit. Could be bonded the hell up. But, eh. And the other thing, guys, this car from the build tag up front this car was supposed to be black. Obviously, it's not black. Underneath here is blue. So, all you Camaro experts, I'm going to show you underneath here. I don't see no black at all. Uh uh. Nope. So, hold, hold on to your laptop or your iPhone. I'm going to show you. If you look, just look, see that's blue. It's like a metallic almost. So there's the rust I'm talking about on the rear frame rails. That, I don't know. That just don't look good to me. Yep, it, it sure doesn't look good. I mean, it's not rotted through. I'm sure I can probably clean it up. I mean, from here, the trunk. Guys, you can see the trunk looks great. Except for that crap right back there. Trunk looks good, but on the inside, it looks like shit. So, well, now I got the gas tank up. I'm going to put that outside. I got to take these friggin' shocks off. So, but I'm going to show you the VIN tag or the uh, build tag, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to show that to you. So this car is supposed to be black. Uh, wait, here's some black. There we go. There, that's some black right there. That's black. So this car, okay. And there's black up there. That looks like rust, but it's not. 
See, there's black. So they took the bumper and everything. They took the car down and did the repaint. But okay, so I, I guess that's factory. That's factory what they do there then. All right. All right, so let me get back to work. that works. Now I gotta get the air hammer. Another one bites the dust. All right, so now I gotta put these bolts back on. Get rid of this fucking thing. Uh, guess I'm just gonna have to stay there for now because I gotta clamp this down. I can get rid of this shit up here. But I'll put the other bolts on so I can actually roll the car around again when I need to, like Sunday or Monday when it goes on the trailer. So what? Look, look this fucking scrap metal. I don't need it. Well guys, mission accomplished. This bird is going outside. Tomorrow I'll put these bolts on. I don't feel like it tonight. Um, that's it for tonight. So tomorrow, we'll vacuum that trunk out and see what's really wrong with it. And then I have to cut off those uh, ugly ass frame rails. Yep, that's what I gotta do. No doubt. No doubt at all. All right. All right, guys. So that's going to end it for uh, tonight. Uh, I got the gas tank out. Got the bumper off. Tail lights out. Rear deck lids off. Um, I still want to get the uh, little spoilers off right there on both sides. That's going to be tomorrow and we're going to vacuum the trunk out tomorrow um then i'm probably going to take the rear trim off the front and rear window i'm going to try that got to get the frame rails taken out and then i want to take the fuel lines and the brake lines out from underneath the car and also pull the electrical wires through then I want to get the dash and the center console out, which all that stuff is basically, I think the center console is technically just sitting in there. And I don't know about the dash, but we'll find out. But, uh, the demo is getting there. Uh, I, there's a lot of rust, a lot. So, but 
All right, I'll see you guys tomorrow.